Hey, this is Sunny Sweeney, and you're watching Texas Music Scene with my little buddy. No, I mean, really, he's my little buddy. He's on my record, uh, Ray Benson. Welcome back to the Texas Music Scene. Here now is our backstage conversation with Sunny Sweeney on her 2017 project, which she called Trophy. And we'll start with why she named it so. So my last three records have had one word titles. That's why I named the record Trophy. But also because I really like the song that goes with it. One of my husband's exes called me his trophy wife, which I'm like, okay. Well, doesn't that mean you won? I mean, so you're complimenting me. Okay. But as a songwriter, I'm like, thank you. <laughs> really? Initially, I had been doing it live a little bit, and it sounded a little more like ragey and like pissed off. And I was like, I don't want it to be like that. I want it to be like, na, 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 na. And so it works so much better when we just change the whole approach. So my production team was Dave Brainerd. Jordan Rigby did all the mixing and stuff like that, but Dave's the producer. We collaborate extremely well together. He made some of the weirdest things happen on that record. And he's like, nobody will, nobody will even know that it's there except me and you. He'll do like this weird thing with like a pill bottle with like a drumstick stuck up in the pill bar or something weird. I mean, in tape around it. I mean, super strange. I just go, okay. I mean, I'm not gonna argue with somebody that's, you kind of scare me. Like, you, <laughs> if you come up with something that crazy, you better do it. <laughs> I love Pass the Pain on my record. That's a song I wrote um, 10 years ago or something when I was going through a divorce. I was at a bar at 3 p.m. one day trying to drink it myself out of the situation. The bartender's like, do you need a ride home? I said, no. He's like, are you sure? I was like, oh my God, you're kicking me out of your bar at 3 p.m., aren't you? I went to my writing appointment the next morning and said, I'm pretty sure that I might have got kicked out of a bar last night at 3 p.m. <laughs> so let's, let's go ahead and write a song about that. I don't care what you think. Just pass the pain. Every time the word video gets brought up, I just sweat and I cringe and I'm just like, but I knew that this song had to have a video. I feel like the song, if you just hear it, it tells a story. And we decided to do a video. I did it with a guy named Scott Samantaki in Nashville. And we did it all at my friend Heather's house, um, everything, and all the kids in the video and the parents are my friends. I only call my husband baby because I love the word. Never wanted something so bad that it hurts. Even give up these damn no cigarettes. If I could have Chris Wall wrote a song called I Feel Like Hank Williams Tonight. And I've told him, I bet you 15 years I've told him I'll put that on a record. And then I finally did it. I really wanted a low voice on it. Ray comes, sits in with us, and harmonizes with my girl voice and Brennan's girl voice so perfectly. When it came time for me to do that song on the record, I wanted I wanted him hands down to do it. So I called Sam and I was like, Sam, do you think you could get Ray to do this? He said, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Then they did it and it was like finished the song for me. I mean, it was amazing. It could not have been recorded with a better person, I don't think. I won't play Beethoven if the mood's just not right. I feel like I wanted to focus more on the songs on this record. I feel like the songs are the center point of, of this whole industry. I just hoped that it would be more focused on the song, and I think, as it turns out, that, that it was. Spend so much 